MCC 20 was one of the funnest tournaments we've had, with tons of amazing moments and great performances, but it's also massively changed our top 10 list. So it's time for another. Who is the best of the best? This is the top 10 MCC players of season 2. And remember, this is done on average points for Season 2. So if your favourite isn't on this list, instead of getting annoyed, let me know your own personal top 10 in the comments section below. And my favourites will be shown off in a video in the future. Also whilst you're down there, why not scroll up ever so slightly and subscribe. It means the world to me as a small channel, so please consider doing so. Anyway, enough rambling. Let's get on with it, starting at 10th place, Antfrost. One of our new winners is in at number 10. Antfrost has been one of the best players this season, taking to Minecraft Championship like a duck to water, or I guess in this case, like a cat to a tree. He's been superb so far and definitely deserves to get his first victory in MCC 20 and I fully expect him to get more in the future. However, for now, he has an average score of 2,588 points. But it is also worth mentioning that he has Rambu, Kratzi, Tapel, H-Bomb and Vicstar only 100 points behind him, and any of them could take his spot in the future. Ninth place, Funding. The amazing Fundy is currently banned from Minecraft Championships. Or maybe not, it's not very clear. After his shenanigans in MCC 18. But even so, he has been incredible this season and fully deserves to be on this list. Despite his, well, let's say creative tactics. Which, let's be fair, have always been insanely funny and smart and has also led him to have an average score of 2,658 points. 8th place, SB737. He might have survived another 100 days, but unfortunately SB couldn't bring it home in MCC20. He was incredible however, bringing his A game, and coming in an incredible 7th place, and as well as this, He's also previously won in MCC 17, his last event, which means he's gone to two dodgebolts in a row, and that's left him with an impressive score of 2,707 points. 7th place, Dream. It's insane that Dream, who is a two-time champion this season, is only in 7th. Despite missing MCC 20, it's hard to forget just how good Dream is, and I'm excited to see him chase down H-Bomb to become the second 5 time winner, after he reached 4 championships by winning MCC 15 and 16, which leaves him on an impressive average score of 2,799 points, which is only 100 points behind. 6th place, Pizza Hut. From one 4 time winner to another with the legendary Pizza Hut, who has been amazing throughout season 2, but with so much more competition only finds himself in 6th, despite winning in MCC 17. Pete so far has an average score this season of 2,896 points, which is massive and shows just how good he is, but of course his next target will definitely be to follow H-Bomb to win number 5. 5th place, Puns. An impressive showing in MCC 20 has brought Puns to 5th. His leadership skills were put to the limit as he guided two brand new competitors whilst managing to get 3rd place himself and should be firmly considered an S tier now for anyone who doubted him before. 
Overall, he has an average score this season of 2,962 points, being the last player not to reach the 3,000 mark. But it's very possible he could get there in the next event. Fourth place, Fruit Berries. Fruit unfortunately drops a place after a difficult MCC 20, where he had to try and lead Tommy, Jack and Connor. Pure chaos. Despite this, he did still pull off some epic plays in to get to the other side on Wacker Fan and Sky Battle. He's also been insane throughout the rest of the season, with this breaking his streak of being to three finals in a row, which is kinda crazy. He currently has a score of 3,005, and is only a single point behind. Third place, Quig. Am I the only one that still thinks Quig is underappreciated by the community somehow? An amazing player, Quig finds himself once again in the top three after a ridiculously good MCC 20 that saw him come second place, also pulling his team up to fourth overall. Despite this, however, he still hasn't managed to win this season or even make it into a dodgebolt which, if anything, makes his average score of 3006 more impressive. Second place, Sapnap. I know you must be all shocked. How has the legendary Sapnap, who is a three-time winner this season, only second place? It's incredible. Of course, unfortunately, he missed out on MCC 20 after bursting his eardrums, which was incredibly disappointing and I hope he gets better soon. But after winning so many as of late, I'm sure the break will only help him come back even stronger and better. He is an average score of 3,291 points, having won MCC 15, 18 and 19 so far this season, and will be looking to get his fifth win in MCC 21. First place, Illumina. Wow, just wow. Illumina's performance has been insane, but his showing in MCC 20 was something else, as he helped his team to first place overall, with an insane score of 3,865 points. Yup, that's crazy. And yet somehow, in the craziest and cruelest turn of fate, he still hasn't won this season, losing three separate finals in a row. Even with this however, he's still been so insanely amazing that he is our number one player of season two. And that's our list. As I've said before, I'd love to hear your list in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. There's another video coming out very soon about the changes to the top 10 players of all time, and you don't want to miss out. Also a huge thanks to Ultra Sheep Lord and his crew, whose stats I am now using in my videos, and you can find the link to them down below. But all that's left to say now is thank you for watching, and peace.